heading 10-4? Negative. I have that uh, subject in the kitchen in a freezer. She is frozen solid. 10 for 600. 600 copies. Make notifications, Rosemont. 601, you copy? Jerry, what kitchen you in? I'm in the rear by the uh, dock area. Garbage. 55, Rosemont. 1455. You get any noise complaints at the front of the Crown Plaza? We're out here. Um, just give me a heads up. Time for. Six hundred from six oh one. Can I get two oh one here? We got uh, two batteries and the ambulance is requested. Somebody follow them. Uh it's like they said they're gonna keep cuffs, not in custody, but they're requesting a patrol to follow, so at least against the ambulance. Ten four he's in route. Two oh one you copy? Ten four. One six nine. One six nine in route. Yeah, just stage in the front parking lot uh, by the canopy for now. Ten four. Fourteen forty five. Myself and 59 back in town will be time for them. Nine thirteen to one six nine. Go ahead, sir. Just come to the rear of the uh by the loading dock and stage back there. Oh, come through auto though, come through auto, avoid the front of the building. 10-4. Number is going to be two four six seven seven two four six seven seven. Ten four two four six seven seven. That's correct. Battalion 13. Battalion 13. Alright, just an update. Uh, auto wait confirmed only at this time. Confirmed only. We are not available. And any inbound calls, give me the heads up before and we'll make a decision at the time. But no recall at this time. No recall. Message received. Rosemont 169 back in quarters. 169 message received.
move the gap. Go ahead, sir. Can you come out here and meet the uh, Deputy Chief Kakoka and the detectives about that camera? Best receiver, you guys back in the same area? I just Rosemont Battalion 13. I'm going to get rid of this fire portable. I'll be on the police van. Turn around out. Our message received. One five six. Message received. Nine one one. Where's the address of your emergency? Yes, I'm at the Crown um, Crown Plaza at O'Hare Airport. And I was calling because my daughter came to this uh, to a party here last night, a gathering with her friends. And um, now her friends, they say that they left on the front of the hotel and she's not able to be found now. She's 19 years old. And you said that this, and, and you said the Crown Plaza at O'Hare Airport? Yes. Yes, and they said that the, uh, when her friends was asking uh, earlier today, like about 4 o'clock in the morning, because uh, they used to run the video cameras, they said that they didn't have no cameras. But now I came and it was a lady. She said that it, she it, she heard music, and she she asked me that I want to go upstairs. And we went upstairs on the 11th floor, and it was someone came to the room, and the, she said that she did see my daughter there with a group of girls and and, and a couple of guys. But um, that's how she just saw because she was trying busy trying to get reception on her phone. All right, well then, um, you know what? Um, are you sure you don't mean the Crown Plaza in Rosemont? Yes, the Crown. Yes, it is. I'm sorry, the Crown Plaza in Rosemont. That's exactly where it's at. I'm okay, so and sorry. Ha- no, no, it's okay. And and have you spoke? And you said you spoke with the uh... front desk. I'm sitting outside, right in front of the hotel, in a parking lot right now. And they were saying that they didn't, that they haven't seen your daughter since she left, or? No, just a different set. Just a different um. Uh, a new, uh, I'm sorry, it's a new shift, and they said that they haven't seen it. Well, of course they wouldn't have seen it, because this is like 3 or 4 in the morning. And I just seen that they, she was here because I just found the ticket where where they entered this um, hotel. It was at um, 1.36 p.m. So hold on, this is not her ticket, because this was on the 6th. My daughter wasn't here on the 6th. Okay, and uh, well, uh, you know, what, real quick, I'm just gonna see if maybe we, uh, I'm gonna see if maybe she was here at all. Uh, what's your daughter's name? Her name is Kanika Jenkins. All right, and the keep room her. Registered. The room wasn't registered in her name. She came with some friends here. No, yeah, no, yeah. I just want to verify. I, I, I'm, I'm uh, about to say I actually just came in myself. Uh, probably been on a trip for about 45 minutes, so I just want to make sure that. You know, maybe she didn't she didn't get arrested and sent on her. You know what I mean? I just want to double check everything. But okay, she, thank you. You're very welcome. But um, it doesn't look like we had any run-ins with her last night at all. Um, do you think it's possible maybe she went to one of her friends' houses or, you know, she's probably no, be, no actually because she had my car. She was driving my car. She know I don't like nobody to drive my car because my insurance will not pay for nobody, no one besides her. And um, her friends kept calling my phone. I told them to stay out here. They stayed out here. For, they called me like about three time in the morning. I was laying in the bed. I just had breast surgery. At breast, you know, I was I fought I beat that breast cancer. So I'm, you know, sedated off medication early. And they telling me she out here. So once I rejuvenated, to strengthen up myself enough to get up and drive out here to look for. Once they brought me my car, I came out right out here. And I came to the hotel, and I showed them a picture of her, and I asked them if they see it. And there was a lady in the lobby, 
and she heard me asking at the front desk, and she said it was music. She did hear music. She called the one downstairs to report the room and come to find out it was the people next door. And when we knocked on the door, um, that person said that she did see my daughter downstairs, which it was like four of them, and it was four of them. And she said my daughter, she um, she was with three of her friends, but her three friends said, which then, you know, these kids won't tell the truth. They said that she was, they went upstairs to get her cell phone. And when they went to get her cell phone, she was standing in the lobby, in the front lobby. And then when they came back down, she wasn't there anymore. No, I completely understand. Um, to them, to the, the, the one the, the one issue we have, and it's not necessarily that it's, that it's an issue, but she is an adult. She is 19 years old. And, um, I mean, as of Hold right on, now. she's 19 years old? That's it, my daughter. She's 19. Her name is Kanika Jenkins, K-E-N-E-E-K-A. No, yes, yes, yes. No, I, I, I remember that. You told me that she was 19. But um, what I'm saying is that. Is that she? Again, she's only been gone for a couple hours. She's, you know, I don't know. Maybe she's, you know, she could be somewhere with one of her friends or something. Because I mean, it, again, it, it is only a couple hours since you hadn't seen her, correct? Or since her friends supposedly hadn't seen her? Correct. Let's say about um, four, three to four hours now. They said. They told me. It was like four o'clock in the morning when they called me. Yeah. Uh, I, well, I, I guess uh, the the one. I, are you looking to file a missing persons report then, or are you just? Or, 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 or would you? I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm so sorry, sir, but uh, I just want to know: is it possible that they, maybe they can look at the cameras and see? Um, it's because they send the police out here and ask them to look at the cameras and see. If um, they've seen her on their cameras around that time, I was about to say uh, even if I did send an officer, it would take a little bit in order in, uh, for us to get the uh, for us to get the camera footage and us for us to pass it on to the uh, detectives division. Okay. Okay. So, so what what would you suggest? Well, again, again, the the only thing I would suggest maybe just. Um, you know, give her a couple hours. You know, she could have went. You know, she could have went somewhere with one of her other friends. I mean, and who knows what her friends are saying is true. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's you. It's, they, you could tell not to be saying. You could tell it don't sound right. I'm a parent. I've been young before, and it's not sounding right. It don't sound right. Period. That's why I came out here myself because they, they and then it sound like they had been drinking. You know, honestly. Yeah. And I asked them, did she drink? And they said she had only one cup, you know, but, okay, my daughter ain't the type that normally, she can't even take liquor. Her, her liquor level is just like mine. We can't take liquor. We cannot no. take liquor. We take a sip of liquor, we drunk, honestly. No, I completely understand. And I'm, I'm like, one cup is too much for her, you know, and why, and I, and I, like I asked them. And then they end up with her cell phone. I pay her cell phone bill every month to make sure my daughter has a phone. How did she love her phone? I don't understand. How? Why would she leave her cell phone with you all and just go disappear? And she yeah. know I just had surgery. You know, does she know? Does she know my predicament. No, yeah. Well then, well, well then. So that in, in that case, what I would, what I, uh, what I would recommend, just you know, go home, relax a little bit, give it some time. She could, she, of, of all we know, she very well could still be in the room. She, she could just be passed out. You know. Again, you know how it is. You drink it the the night before. You get, you know what I mean. Whatever else have you. So just give it a couple hours. You know, maybe see if you know, see if she'll get a hold of you again. You know, what I mean, does she uh, does she know your number? Yes, she know my number very well. She's very smart. Okay, well then, like I said, you know, just give her a couple hours. You know what I mean. You know, you know, give her some time. You know, again, maybe she, you know, maybe she went to one of her other friends' places, or maybe she is still in the room. You know, just. Knocked, you know, knocked out. You know what I mean? Yes, I thank you. Okay, and so when do you? How long does it take for me to file a missing person report? Well, well, you can you can file it at any at at, uh, at any time. It just uh, like I said, you know, just you know, just give it a little bit of time. You know, if if you hadn't heard from her by, I want to say about ten, eleven o'clock, then 
by all means, you know, give us a call again. You can come to the station, and uh, we can help you out from there. Okay, I live in Chicago. Would it be better for me to come back to you all station, or should I go in Chicago and make out a missile report? You know, I think you would, uh, you would, um, you know, you can try it. File, you can try to file it out in Chicago. They may tell you to come here since it happened in our town, but I do know that since she, I do know that since she lives with, uh, you know, obviously she lives with you in the city. I think this might actually fall on them, or at okay. least, they'll, or at least they'll be able to take the report and then they'll get in contact with us and we'll be able to help them out with the investigation from there. Okay, well, it doesn't It doesn't matter whichever one. Um, if I have to come back out here, I'll come back out here. But but as long as if we be able to see, but we'll, if I come, okay, I give it to tomorrow. It's 24 hours. After 24 hours, do you think they should be able to see the video camera of today, the surveillance cam camera yes. for today? Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. We'd definitely be able to probably, yes, we'd definitely be able to get the footage. Okay, thank you. Well, All right. I'll do that. Okay. Thank you okay. so much. Okay. Okay. Oh, right, you're very welcome. Have a good day. You too. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Bye bye. That's interesting. Police fire Wilder. Hey, it's Trisha. Hey, what's up, man? What did they do a report or anything, or did they just do a CAD? So, Cat and Beale took the report. He did an incident report. He, well, he closed it with an incident report, but they didn't run anybody. Um, do you know if he, are you guys able to check and see if they did one and all yet? Hang on, let me. Uh, he said he closed it with an incident report, but they didn't run anybody. Hang on one second. All right, so he added it in the actual report, but he didn't do like he didn't add it in the CAD information. It was uh, for a Kaneka Jenkins. Then are you able to? They said something about it. There was a missing person file. Are you able to run that name real quick and see if anything comes up? Yeah, hang on. Let me let me run what he attached. Hang on. Uh, so yeah, they put it in as a missing person involuntarily. Okay, so Captain yeah. Beal entered her today as a missing person? Or somebody, or she was previously entered in? No, it was entered by us at uh, 116 today. In the, in the lead? Or did hang you on, put hang it on. I got two people talking to me at once. Hang on. Yes. Correct. Correct. Hey, uh, Bertucci? Yeah. Yeah, she was entered today at 116 by us. Okay, in, into Leeds, though, correct? Yeah. Okay, can you just give me your name real quick? Sure, it's uh, Jen Jenkins, J. John, E. Edward. J. When you, you ready? Yeah, go ahead. J. 
Hey, John, E. Edward, and Nora. Yes. Hey, King, I, Ida, and Nora as Sam. First name is Kaneka, K. King, E. Edward, and Nora, and Nora, E. Edward, K. King, A. Adam. Middle of initial of L. Lincoln. Female black, born 527 of 98. She's 19, 57, 135, black and brown. Okay, and, and then, uh, uh, what it says uh, she was last wearing. Okay, good. Uh, was last seen wearing ripped blue jean jacket. Yep. Blue jeans. Yep. Gray Jordan shoes. Okay. And white long finger nails. And he did attach a picture. It looks like from camera footage. So, does it look, it probably must have reviewed it from the hotel then. Yeah. You ready? Uh, okay. Uh, can I have the report number? Sure. It's, uh, it's uh, 2017 yep. dash 24677. Okay. Cool. All right. Thank you. Yep. You're welcome. Got it. Bye. Hi, uh, my name is Resco. I'm calling from the Crown Plaza, Chicago. Okay, I was wondering if it would be possible to talk to Officer Captain Bell, the star number 1422. And if not, maybe you can help me. Okay, what's this regarding? Well, they're just responding on the, um, the report of the missing person uh -huh. who apparently or allegedly was uh, last seen um, in our hotel by the room 926. Okay. And we reviewed the surveillance and we were here. Now I received a call from somebody who said that her name was Betty Green and she said she was commander. She was threatening that she's going to come with a warrant, that she's going to shut down the hotel. That okay, the what's your name? Be. What's your name? My name is Resco, R-E-S-K-O. And you work at the Crown Plaza? I am assistant general manager, yes. Okay, and what's your phone number? 847-671-350. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll send him the message and have him call you. Okay, very good. Thanks. Okay, all right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Two hundred one. Two hundred one. Two hundred twenty-five. The lobby for a station report is going to be a missing person from the Crown Plaza. Ten four. Two hundred one. I'll be ten eight. Close it out with an answer. Two oh one ten four. subject. Tango, please. 10-4. 609 Tango. 
after the window that they were looking at. All right, 10 four. One oh one six oh nine, I opened up that original missing persons call, so we'll be going to that now. Stand back. I'll tell you when I'm out there. 